y'all, it's Sun, and I'm finally here to share my first speed build, as well as my first full-length video on Hi-Rise Virtual Metaverse. This build specifically is my birthday build because my birthday is on Monday, September 11th, beep beep, and I wanted to create a fun space that represented me and my vibes to celebrate with my friends in the metaverse as I reach the big 3 oh, That's scary. Okay. So as you watch the speed build, I will be sharing the knowledge that I have gained through my noob experience in Hi-Rise so that you don't have to learn the hard way like I did. When I first started playing High Rise, I had no idea the amount of opportunities that Pocket Worlds provides for creators. And not just like artists and builders and content creators, but even coding and developers. They depend solely on the community creations to evolve this game, which is why I personally think that they're the world's leading mobile metaverse. I was shocked to see that there wasn't a lot of building content creators in this game. And I honestly didn't see any outrageously amazing builds until I joined the High Rise Discord server. Building in High Rise, it's not for everyone. I struggled at first with learning the isometric 2D building style, but I enjoy a challenge and I guess this is why I grew bored of Club Roblox because it was no longer a challenge for me. You'd think that building in 2D after building in 3D for so long would be easier, but no, nah, not for half a brain cell that I share with Oddish Gloom. So much, and I mean so much, trial and error was involved, especially when spending all of those bubbles <laughs> only to find that something wasn't the right size I needed, or it didn't fit the right way, or it didn't turn how I wanted it to. It just didn't work. So I guess my main request to the devs would be to somehow be able to test out the products before we purchase them. I mean, I know you guys gotta get your bag, but like, just let me know the dimensions or, you know, see how it looks against the other items or something. I don't know before buying it. Also, maybe adding in a 45 degree angle turn rather than just 90, cause I'm a catty corner kind of girl. <laughs> the struggle is real. That being said, one big tip I have for building in high rise starting out. Do not be a dummy like me. Don't blow all of your money scrolling through those collections of cool furniture decor, okay? If you don't know, it's gonna work. Also, don't buy in bulk. I was like buying hundreds of things in bulk and then it would not work and I would have like all these extra items, right? Until you know how it's gonna work in the vision of what you're building, just don't. When starting a room for the first time with your blank slate, I highly, highly, highly suggest purchasing the one bubble blocks in the first few furniture collections that you see. Basically, purchase as needed. Don't purchase a hundred at a time unless you know for a fact that you need that much. Usually, when I'm starting out a room, I go for like 15 maybe of those one bubble blocks. You can always buy more, but once you have too much, yeah, sure, you can pawn them, but it's only for a fourth of what you actually spend on them. So start cheap and buy little amounts. This way you can test it out and you're not blowing bubbles. <gasps> Why did I not catch this? <laughs> I just said blowing bubbles. <clears throat> you aren't wasting your currency. <laughs> You are wasting your currency on things that you may or may not actually be able to use. Honestly though, those one bubble blocks I'm talking about, they have so many different textures, colors, sizes, shapes. You could make an entire build off of the single bubble blocks alone. And I've seen people do it. Demonic Teddies is a pro at it, okay? One of my favorite builders. Um, it's a good cheap way to just form a base and visualize the shape and structure of your build. You can always add details or switch out your blocks later. The base, get it going, you know? Cause I was struggling I kept running out of bubbles and stuff. So pro tip, start cheap, buy small amounts, test it out. So when it comes to building in high rise, just like any game, really, there's several different styles you could try out. Now, there's really two main styles though. And one is the people who like to build really big, impressive structures. But then there's others who like to focus on detail and decor. But some, like one of my absolute favorite builders in high rise, who I wish had a channel, but she does not, Ruby. She's amazing and she does the big impressive structures and the detail of decor. It's it's truly phenomenal, her, her style of building. Whatever your style is, there's always room for improvement, always can be experimenting with new ideas. And another tip I have though is, I don't know if you saw the stacked blocks that looked completely out of place. They were not the color of my build, but they were alternating colors. One of my really good friends and crew members taught me this trick. When you're starting out, you wanna do those, usually the one bubble block, but you're gonna alternate the colors and you're gonna stack as high as you can. This is going to show you how high. So like, whereas in Club Roblox, we had a percentage limit, we have a grid limit here. And this is your build limit. So this shows you your build limit of how high you can go. And in most of my videos, I will be building in the PC beta app. And I am in this video, but 
the main difference in the two is the grid and you don't have the grid in the regular app and so this is a good way to kind of see where you're stacking your blocks making sure they're lined up in the right spot you know all of that and once you build you'll understand what I mean completely because it is a nightmare if you get one block off and you complete a whole build and you don't know what block is off because it's an optical illusion it's a nightmare I'm telling you so just trust me do this put it in all four corners if you have to do whatever you got to do it has to be four high in order for your avatar to fit under it so every floor has to be four blocks high speaking of friends I want to talk about the community that pocket worlds has developed and grown thus far yes there's always bad apples and everything but there's also so many good apples aka humble generous and helpful people in this community as well one of the most popular is soy day for instance he has the space lotto he is not only always practicing philanthropy by giving gold to people through the space lotto and in other ways his many events and stuff but he's also always giving some intelligent insight on his post and he always is friendly and interacting with the community in a positive way so even if you're a loner like me in real life and you think you're a weirdo don't be afraid to join in on the conversation find a crew <coughs> celestial sunflowers is recruiting <coughs> anyways <laughs> connect with other players it's so much easier to find your people online than it is in person and socializing is a great way to get creative inspiration the best advice and like the most important i can give you is don't throw in the towel don't be afraid to try new things get feedback from others and keep exploring this game just because you had a hard time or it's a struggle at first building your first room a little patience and persistence you can create amazing things in high rise i mean obviously i didn't throw in the towel and look at how amazing my party room ended up perfect for me in my honest opinion it's literally me and high rise build form if you want to see it in game though come party with us on the 11th we will be celebrating my 30th birthday all night long doing some mic getting weird because that's what i do when i'm hanging out with my crew i am so cringe da -da 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 <laughs> anyways if you are 18 or older and you have not played high rise yet go ahead download the app now i promise you you won't regret it my crew is always recruiting and you are definitely welcome there i'm always wanting some more creative people to hang out with in game if you are 16 or older and you have a discord come join my sunflower galaxy on discord you can totally hang out with me on a more personable level anyways i i love this build Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this high rise content. I hope this was helpful for everyone who is new to high rise. And um, yeah, just be the person you need. Cosmic Sun, over and out. Psh.